Hello guys, this is Shockwave King, and yes, we are here once again talking about some more, more heroes, but this time, we'll be analyzing, as you saw the title of the video, the potential future boss, well, well, all the bosses that we can see from the more heroes, the return trailer, yes, who wish more than likely to be the main villain here, but we just, no one has sat down to analyze these nice, nice, nice multiple versions, or nice different character designs and alien creatures here who all somehow came out of jail so you already know that mean Khalid you got some more people of your booty wall your nation and it just it, it, if you like butt join, join Khalid and his booty slayer on it, it, it is what it is but uh yeah basically only I'm gonna save Fu for last because uh, I, I have some few ideas with Fu but let's call the person at the bottom of the bucket all right Damien Oh, why would Damien be an enemy in this game? It's because that we don't know Damien's stance on rap or not if he likes the idea of working with crew or not. We don't know if he's good or bad. We still do not know if he's good or bad or not. But his bases have been neutral this entire time. Like, like the last thing we hear Fu say is this, uh, Damien say this, like, what the hell are you? It's just like, I'm a goddamn superhero. So not like Fu was just like, uh, you know, like Damien was just like, why are you doing this? It's just like, I, I can't do on you. It's just like, it's more of a question of just, what are you? It's like, like, like that stupid anime thing that the guy falls for the girl but she's a monster and it's just like what are you and she tells you where, where she is and it's just maybe like a let me in type situation of course the American version but it's, it's just I don't know who, who knows I do believe that Damon will have some involvement in the story and at most he'll hold a being katana but he might just stay in the spaceship but it would make no sense why Damon would Automatically go after Travis because who has a reason to go after Travis? So we still don't know who is the idiot who decided to pull up from Travis's block when he had the touchdown on me. Yes, that's what we're gonna call it because it was made by Dr. Fucking Naomi and her jiggly puffs. Lovely jiggly puffs. But uh, yeah. But uh, the next, the next guy we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about here. All right, we, we, we got, we got quite a group of, of, of people here. But the first one is Nipple Man. Who is Nipple Man? You might say Nipple Man is our boy inside the bubble all right apparently this this is a guy i thought he was wearing a beard but he just wearing a mask like he's seeing his art which i do so i just who do i think nipple man I, I don't know honestly to be honest i think nipple man is a huge germaphobe I, I i don't think he likes diseases at all he just come on come on it's just why else would he be in a big ass bubble like this if he wasn't a germaphobe it's just maybe it's just me and characters but it's just come on if he was not a germaphobe what else would it be and one of the main key parts of the boss fight will be the fact that uh, you will have to take down his uh, his bubble army. So it's like you know you got Bra you got bubble supreme with Brawly, or you got bubble supreme with our boy Nipple Man. And also you've noticed yet that his armor is literally built like, in my personal opinion, like a petite woman with small titties and his hands that letting them circle over surface those basically the, the, the nipples. And it's just you can say it's not, but. What else does it look like? Now, now you won't even look at the, the damn cats the same anymore. But uh, to me, that's what it looks like. And what would happen when you finally knock this man out of his uh, his, his his bubble armor, his his, his nuka suit? I don't really know. He can have like a thousand reactions. He could just die automatically, like a war war uh, like a, a war of the world type thing as a joke. And the reason why I do say it is because all the 51 said this would be a more Marvel Avengers type game, more of a blockbuster, focusing 
a little bit more on the enemies. Uh, no, focus on the enemies, the basic enemies in the game, and the uh, and, and the uh, and the bosses all the same. So why why would it why would he just choke to death? Because why else would be inside a big ass bubble? It'd be a fit, hilarious character move, but you know, it just anything can happen with no more heroes. It could be the exact opposite. Like maybe he's some type of uncontained sexual animal who just like he he he, he, he gotta be contained. Who, who knows? Maybe it's like a deep space 69 type situation, you know, with, with the whole diamond heist. <laughs> diamond heist, but, but but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But those are my thoughts about Nipple Man. I do think he will not be a similar, he will be a close range character, but we haven't seen what the game could look like besides in that whole return trailer, so who, who, who knows? This is not a detailed look, but this is just like an overview of the character. So after that, we got our boy Megatron, alright, the full on robot at the beginning. Now, with this guy, it could be, I, I think he will be the sack of shit of the group. Because the thing with Fu is, Fu's not really a sack of shit, he just. I don't know what's up with food. I, I, I still can't figure up with food, and that's probably going to lead us to the reason why he's last, but I still can't piece it together of what, what, what food is all about. I just I, I just don't know what food is all about. I, I, I just don't. But, uh, but, but with our boy uh, Megatron here, I do think he'd be the asshole of the group. And I hope, the thing I hope that does not happen is the fact that you crack this man open, it turns out, but the entire time, it's basically Men in Black. Now, which, it could be funny. It could be still hilarious. He's up to Napoleon Syndrome, trying to make fun of his poke ass. So maybe the strong man comes in to murder him. Who knows? If you didn't know, the strong man is coming back. So if you don't know now, then no one is half the battle. Isn't that right, Bumblebee? See, Bumblebee knows. Bumblebee knows. Well, yeah. I do think Megatron will be a semi-long range to mid-range character. He will be shooting out all his arm parts and shooting out lasers and shit and blowing all over the place. I do think that would be the key component to Megatron here. Just come on, what else have arms that doesn't attack you? I'm not some type of genius here, but that's that's the shit I would do. But uh, who knows? This is no more heroes and shit happens, right? Some crazy shit happens like Health the Sketch getting his head chopped off and it lands right directly back on his shoulders perfectly and somehow this bastard is still able to talk. So it's, it's not like we haven't seen some crazy shit before. So remember, if you're gonna give this man a name, call him Megatron, but uh, you can call him whatever you want. My next one is this uh, missing death metal album cover. Yes, I am referring to that tall motherfucker with the uh, Triton. He, he is holding the Triton. Triton in his hands, but I do think this is a female. Maybe it's a, me and the eyelashes. I don't know. Maybe maybe this person has some some some, some nice looking eyes. We could have a complete stitch around, but I, I think this is more of a female character this time around. But uh, it, 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 it looks more like a female compared to some other characters who I I, I don't know what the fuck they look like. It, they look like some shit. I, I don't fucking know. But we'll get to him. We'll, we'll get to him. All right. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm, I'm playing no more. Let's see him fix. But uh, yeah, I would think he, he put this in the video. I don't know, he could be a mid-range to close-range type character. It's just like, we don't know what's inside that cloak, which, 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 which could just be a new woman the entire time. It, it would not surprise me, but you know, I, I've seen Stranger. I, I've seen and heard Stranger. So it's just, anything can happen. Anything can happen. And sadly, it's, it's, it's literally anything can happen. But that's just basically my thoughts on the missing death album cover. And we got Mr. Accelerate, alright? Yes, yes, we're all referring to the Ben 10 alien, alright? I can't remember that alien's name, but this is Accelerate, the man with the chicken legs, alright? I don't know what he is. I like drawing his back in that art was, was difficult, but it's just, I do think he'd be a speed machine. I do think he might be able to only get two hits on him. He dies and moving out the way. Then maybe he'd be able to freeze up time. You got a quick block or something, quick parry. I don't know, alright? I don't know. But these are just my basic thoughts and analysis on these characters. The designs are excellent. The one thing you cannot say is that the designs in this game are bad. All right? It's like a, it got the 1990s color fused with a 1960s drug trip. All right, we're taking action and LSD here, boys. So let's go, let's go all the way. But uh, we got a. Uh, after that, we just got a. Uh, after we got him. And the reason I call this creature him, because just like him from the Pop Up Girls, I don't know what this nigga is. I can't tell this is a female or a male. It, it, I don't know what it is. Drawing this bass is one of the hardest things on the planet. So in my version, I just made it a female, but it could be either way. It could be a very, it could be a tranny, it could be a cross dressed it could be some type of rolled it up sumo rascal. I, I don't know what this is, right? I, I can't give you a legitimate answer. But all I know is, it's just, it's, it's some shit. It's, it's something. That, that's all I know. It's, I, I don't know. 
it seems like we'll have we'll be winning the battle axe to my likely we'll be able to throw like swords since you are going for more of a Marvel type block but you type movie not a directly Marvel influence but that's the way Studio 51 described the action so that's what I based on that one but yeah I could yeah, decent design there parts look like a, a a missing villain from a an episode of Masters of the Universe but a excellent design nonetheless after that we got high tower the big bitch the big mechanical machine them big ass shoulder pads and that's pretty much the reason why I call it <laughs> call it call it high tower because one moment she's just flying in the air the next moment she's got big ass shoulder pads she could be she or he well I'm gonna I'm bet my money that she's a woman she's, she's a girl and it's just I, who knows who knows I can't confirm or deny that we at least have two to three female characters in the team so we, we're only seeing nine and destroy man make 10 and Demi might make 11 is unconfirmed but uh yeah that's just basically been uh uh my, my thoughts on high tower there and we got waspinator and the thing about waspinator is while i'm gonna call him waspinator there is no way you can't say this man like waspinator from these wars come on he's basically waspinator he's gonna gas your punk ass up you be delirious out of your mind but i still cannot decide i must destroy I'm sorry, I'm playing the game, I can't help it. That is one of my catch phrases, a catch line. But it's just, I don't know, he looks like a guy who will gas your punk ass up, all right? If you want to go on a drug trip and die, he'd be the perfect guy. And it'd be a similar guy dressed at the end and be very concerned. Oh, sh oh, shit. Actually, I said that wrong. High Tower is Blue 42. Blue 42 is the, is the, is the, is the eye robot. I'm sorry. Now, on to the new true high tower. If the woman is at the big ass chair, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I fucked it for my own notes. All right, don't, don't, don't crucify me yet. All right, I, I, I still deserve the list. Not the first time I seen that shit. But uh, yeah, it's just she's a woman with the Tasty Three Nine Five from Symbiote Titan. Well, like you can't say that's not who that is. That that, that is Tasty Three Nine Five from Symbiote Titan. Come on, you got, you got the laser. It blows up houses. Come on. There's no way Suda 51 was not watching Symbiotic Titan Season 1, the only season of it. Where is the sequel to getting to Far Seat? Where is it? Please, can we get one? But, uh, yeah. It's just that... Uh, I doubt she ever get out of the chair. But if she does get out of the chair, we'll be in... She could be a fighter. She could just be a nagging bitch all the time. And that's the best part about this trailer. We don't know nobody's personality besides from Fu. And even then, Fu is just like, there's not much to go off of in my personal opinion. There's not much material. So it's just like, even with Fu, it's just like, we don't know what these guys' uh, true attentions are. Why are these guys, number one, broke out of prison, and then want to call themselves Galactic Superheroes? Why? What does the UA has had in this situation? Who knows? But it's, I'm very interested in why everybody's calling themselves heroes these days. Like in, in, like in the No More Heroes uh, video trailer, why did Travis call himself a hero? And besides from Sylvia and Alice, he's always been called the No More Hero, but he's never been called the Hero Destroyed until now. Until very recently, which is the interesting thing I'm going really to point out is why Travis called himself a hero. Why does Fu consider him to be a hero, but he's obviously a mad murdering machine? Why? And plus, okay, on to the final guy, Fu. I can't trigger him up for nothing. I don't know what he's about. I don't know what his goals are. I, I don't know. He has a type of, maybe it's the fact that it's, it's like a 1990s, early 2000s. I don't, I don't know what Fu's personality is or what his voice is. He's just, damn it, I love you. But like, number one, we do have some questions. I might have to say this in the main video of Food, but it's just like, how did he become a prince? Because if he was a prince, wouldn't they be looking for him he wouldn't have to find his way back home? Or if he was a prince, it's just that, uh, why would they send him to a prison with a bunch of other prisoners? And how did they close they break out? But uh, yeah, this is just my quick analysis of these guys. I mean, this, this, this game is gonna be the best shit ever. But you won't be able to play it yet, yeah, yeah, and sure, and by the time the game comes out, I won't be making no more news on it, it looks like announce some DLC, but I hope you guys enjoyed the ride until then. We don't have any announcement trailer. Studio 51 is listening on a five minute trailer, so anything can happen. Yay! Jump punk ass. Well, I never do use that R3 move in this game. Wow, like every, like every last two minutes of every video, Cleavage and uh, Hakeem is going to be talking about some DMC. Yeah, I like D I like five. I like DMC three. I like DMC Double May Cry. I like Double May Cry in general. I'm not gonna know fucking fucking bad bitches who just hate it and things. Just hate it when I get from the chance, but hate it with it. But it doesn't be my quick thoughts and analysis about these main characters here, these brand new bosses and the levels. It's just like what type? 
The, also, the type of means these guys will have working for them will also be significant because Destroy Man does have a mass produced version of himself. The first two designs, like I said in the video, are confirmed. And so, Destroy Man is going to have like common cannon fodder. What will these guys have in common cannon fodder? We still don't know who pulled up in Travis, um, um, Travis apartment or motel and just like going to start slaughtering and shit up because you know I'm a rapper to get a dapper and the nappers. Alright, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, uh, Semi highs are tight because I was yelling, and it's just, I don't know. This is this is post drilling and rust. I'm a drilling and drunk. But uh, yeah, guys, for your boomer shockwave king, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the tap and the clapping will be as better than that human video. But uh, yeah, if you want a quick analysis of the uh, No More Heroes bosses, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and hope you'll be back here next time. Next time, Billy. Next time. But uh, yeah, my name is Travis Touchdown. And I'm going to save the whale. <laughs>